roof design is a major factor in the architecture of this estate. A barn look is the starting point and it makes for a modern country farmhouse atmosphere which suited Yanni's wife, Reverend Eliska Miller. He insists she's the easiest client he's ever had and it shows in the calm, understated feel of their home. Thank you for bringing me out to beautiful Nelspreet. What made you decide to make this home? Well, both of us grew up in the low felt. I am uh, Zanin and Yeliska and Kumati Poet. So yeah, we met here and this is our home. Yeah, I love it because it's big enough. You've got everything you need, but it doesn't feel like a city. Well, this is an incredible place, but I want to see the inside, shall we? You're welcome. Let's Coming. go. The low maintenance interiors have an uncomplicated style. Old steel kitchen cupboards from Yanni's parents' house were sanded down and reused, complementing these natural and unpretentious finishes. I'm noticing a lot of raw materials like exposed brick and concrete. Were you going for an industrial look? Yeah, I like raw materials because it's more honest and I like to bring the actual essence of the building out in the architecture. I love how open the space is. As an architect, was it easy for you to design your own home? Yeah, it actually was. We've done a couple of houses in the estate and we know what works and we know what flows. And uh, we started off by choosing the right plot with the right orientation next to a green belt. Having done that, everything else just flowed much easier. The lounge is a modern contemporary take on functional living with just the right amount of sass to keep it interesting. The industrial look is so neutral with such earthy tones and palettes. But I see you've balanced it with a pop of red. Why did you go for that color? Well, we always loved red, but when we started the building process, we had a look at a couple of other colors for the interior. But we came across this color called Rebos and we fell in love with it. Eliska, you were quite hands-on when it came to the decor of this place. What are some of the elements that you incorporated to reflect your family? What I love about our home is that we have so many personal items. We've got a lot of pictures and portraits of our family and our bigger family. And we have one with Yanni and his grandfather that a friend of his painted for him. So those elements are what makes this our home. You know, it's not just random pieces. A lot of them have stories. The dining room table was inherited from Yanni's great-grandfather, the binoculars from his grandfather, and the piano from his great-grandmother. It's one which they hope their daughter Leah will come to play. If the downstairs is what they call a lekker keerhees, great for entertaining, then the first floor is all about the couple. Welcome to our main bedroom. This is probably our favorite space in the whole house because it opens up so nicely onto the green belt. And um, we just love to have everything open, sit on the balcony, have some coffee in the morning with Leah playing around us. It just gives us this good feeling, an idea that we are tucked away in a bush somewhere and not living in a city. I can see why it's your favorite room. I mean, the high ceilings, the wood finishes, it gives you quite a light and softer feel, unlike the concrete and industrial look from the living room. The Miller's romance began with Yanni meeting Eliska at church. He was bowled over. She enjoyed his travel stories, and their first date ended up being a rugby game at Bombela Stadium. Love was soon in the air, and the married couple now have one-year-old Leah. <laughs> Look at you, so cute. Yeah. Does the fact that you have a, a young family influence the way you design your home to make it more child friendly? Yeah, obviously, you know, especially when you look at uh, floor finishes and, and, and yeah, you want to make it sure that uh, when they fall, they don't fall too hard. So that's why we have the vinyl on the first floor in the bedrooms and uh, AstroTurf on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> what makes this place the perfect spot to raise a family? Well, first of all, it's a very safe estate, so that's great. Um, there's so many other children and kids playing around in the streets and you really get that, that great feeling um, that, you know, the old days when kids could still play in the street. Yeah. The other thing is obviously um, there's a lot of walking trails and uh, mountain bike trails and bird hides and yeah, there's so many things to do. And uh, we uh, as nature lovers, uh, this is our paradise. It's for Yanni's work too. While in town, we dropped by a restaurant he recently designed with a rustic but elegant feel. 
Combining the best of contemporary African and natural elements, it reflects the wild beauty and welcoming climate of the low felt. What inspired the overall look? We uh, worked very closely with Chantal Pretoria's uh, interior designer and uh, what we basically tried to do is, with the dark colours, bring some ambience to the area, draw down the scale with this timber bulkhead and then also we tried to highlight the main elements. Even some of the elements on the sides were highlighted with some spotlights. So it's a rustic look with an elegant touch to it. So it actually represents the food. A gateway to the Kruger Park, the city sees a lot of tourism. And being at the hub of our fruit, nut and game industries, local chefs make the most of these ingredients. This day has been beautiful. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with your awesome family. And I think I'll be coming to the City of Excellence now spread a little more often. It was great to have you. The Miller's house is the first phase of more they've planned. As the family grows, wings will be added. We would ask how many wings, but that's a personal question.